When the roots come out of the form blocks, they're anything from flat. At this point, they always are bowed this direction. And then, because these flanges haven't been brought all the way up, they'll bow this way when you straighten them out. It's got a little bit, but... So I start out by getting rid of this bow, because it makes it very hard to check your edges if they're square, if the thing's a big curve. So I usually start... I don't start on the outside two edges because if you flatten them out, then once you flatten the center out, these will be over bent. So bob stick, bend the flange between these light weighting holes. And you would think this is going to take a long time, but it doesn't. Once you do a few, they go real quick. I've got 18 of these to do. It'll probably take about four hours. As you can see, I've already lost a bunch of the bow in this direction. I'll get to that end here in a second. But we start to pick up bow this way, which is the way it goes. You can see that end is almost flat now. That one's pretty much flat. It needs more in the center here. I'm not going to get it perfect right yet because if you do, once you take the other bows out, you'll find out that you're not perfect. So, close is good enough. Okay, it's a lot less bow in this direction now. So now I'm going to go and bring all the flanges up to 90 degrees. So I'm going to use this tool. I found on YouTube on somebody else's video that's building a hawk. The angle down there, I set at 17 and a half degrees, which gets me almost a perfect 90. It's always a little fiddling with it, but it gets real close. So I'll go down this edge, I'll go down this edge. Good strong crease in there. All right, so now they're pretty straight, 90 degrees, these edges. So the whole thing is now bowed more this direction. So whenever it's bowed this direction, your flutes aren't large enough. If you bowed the other direction, you've overfluted it. So I take it over here to this fluting tool, which I did not find online, but I copied off of this one. I just put a slot in the back here and a uh, dowel over here on the front, and I flute with this. Whichever side has the most curvature will require the most fluting. So this side won't require much, this side will require a lot more. So I'm just going to take the already the flutes that were marked with the form block and I'm going to make them a little bigger. You can see that got rid of a lot of the bow on this side. Now I'm going to come over to this side and get rid of some. It doesn't have nearly as much, so we won't be nearly as aggressive. I'm only doing every third flute right now.
All right, you can already see the rib is way flatter than it was, and we've worked on it for, what, a minute? So now, what I'm going to do is just sight down it, look for where the bows are. And I've overfluted it a little bit right here. I can tell because it's bowed the wrong way. So I'm just flattening it out with that one. Pretty quickly here, that edge is down nice and flat. So now we'll concentrate on this side. Same thing, I'm going to look at it. So it's actually been overfluted. So we're bowed this way. So I've got a little too much. I'll just sight down it to see where. It looks like in this area. So I'm just going to flatten some of those out. Take another look at it. Certainly looks a lot better now. Look at that. Pretty much down. Get down low. There's some small areas like right here where it needs a little more. Fluting. down we're down so you can see in the centers we're still up a little bit so now's a good time to come back and go ahead and finish these off and get them to lay perfectly flat Just very quickly won't take much fluting on these light loading holes Check to make sure that these flanges are 90s. And if they're just using a square, if they're over a little bit, I can just pull them back with this little stick. If they're under, I just hit them again with the flange straightener dealy there. So these are looking pretty darn good. And I'll check the other side too. So there, we've got a flattened rib with square sides, and it's it's ready to go to the next step. Get it painted, and uh, then it would. Uh, and I watched this online with people building their planes. You now this seemed like something that was going to take a lot of time and be a pain in the butt. It's not. It's quick and easy. I never did it before. I've done about 30 nose ribs and four of these, and that you can do one in a couple minutes. 